human beings want to learn, like to learn, and can learn. I have to develop the habits so that you can go there and drop in, you can get your imagination going. That's what we're doing, we're practicing skill sets. So the thing we're building is getting bigger and stronger and bigger and stronger. I love the idea of having a concentrated period of time to just focus on being on camera. In John's class, people sort of drop into themselves. You could see it in everybody on film. Being able to, to see what's working and, and what doesn't work, or being able to see what innately I'm, I'm bringing that I didn't know that I was, um, is really helpful. I'd be half the man that I am now if it weren't for her. That was sort of the, the first time in a film class that, that I'd had a, a, a visceral experience of that because it's something he, he was able to, to create. You could, you could feel it in the, in the room. So you have to be prepping truer and richer and getting your own imagination going so it becomes yours. So then what you bring in to present is very much in you. There's not a one word trick to how do you bring that into the audition. What did I say? What did I tell you in Paris? What were my exact words? Leave me alone. Leave me out of it, but you couldn't do that, could you? I did, Jason. As an actor, you want to make it more than it is. You want to make it more emotional. When it's just, basically, it's just a conversation. He's breaking it down to what it naturally is. This is, you should just being natural on camera. It's kind of nice to be able to do it four times a week. I'm just really looking forward to trying to live it every day. You know, at different points in your life, I think you need to learn differently, and you're going to be learning differently. You just get to immerse yourself in it. Too low, Camille, come out. How do you not learn when it's just all right there? It's exciting. You've already done the prep, you know the situation, or you can imagine it. What will ignite you is going on the, well, the immediacy of the thought. What John does is, is really encourage you to know what you're standing for, to know what your character believes in, but to not make any hard, fast decisions on what the scene is going to be. In John's class, he calls it core strength. Uh, really being able to come from yourself. When you say no, you can stand behind your no. When you say yes, you can stand behind your yes. <laughs>